If you've been to a pub or a dorm room or fancy yourself a pint of Guinness every once in a while, odds are you're familiar with the work of John Gilroy. It's everything that art should be. It makes you smile. But the images of Guinness you see everywhere are just reproduced posters. For nearly half a century, the whereabouts of the original paintings were an art world mystery. Until art dealer Robert Lloyd made the discovery of a lifetime. And when you saw them, you immediately thought what? Wow, this is really cool. And uh, I didn't know anything about them. I just knew they were really unusual, rare, never seen them before, being in business 30 years. And I knew I had to have them. Those 40 years that they were not on the market, where were they? In England, in, in, in storage, in archives. And uh, no one really knew or cared about them because the advertising agency had lost the Guinness account. And you know, when you lose your biggest client, you certainly don't really care about what you did for them in the past. Who's your dealer? Who's your, <laughs> who's your supplier? Well, I wouldn't be able, I, I'd have to throw you down the staircase if I told you that. I couldn't tell you that. They came really right from someone who purchased the archives uh, from whoever bought the building. He bought nearly every painting available, about 400, and sells them for $9,500 to $40,000 each. People get addicted to buying these? These are like tattoos. You're a million miles from your first and two inches from your second. <laughs> and thirds and fourths and maybe a whole series. That's Henry VIII. Like one where Gilroy was asked by Guinness to paint beer into masterpieces. Is this Moses is. drinking? Some Guinness? Well, he's bringing it down for his people. So, <laughs> so here's here's a uh, a painting that's after Gustave Doré, the original of Moses descending with the Ten Commandments. But here you have Moses descending with a, a keg of Guinness. And I love it. The it's quote arrived. Is, it's arrived, Guinness.